Hey guys, Super Current 2011 here, and we're back with some more Fallout 4. We're back at this place. Shooting these people up. Hey, hey, hey! Sound like that out with her. Hey, hey, hey! Down, he's down. Okay, we're good. Get this guy now. <gasps> He's down. Okay. We're good. What, dude? I can't hear you. I shot her head off. That's kind of why it's called a surface ladder, isn't it? And it kind of makes sense. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is awesome. Bay. I just want to go back to back bay. I just want to go to back bay, back bay. I just want to go back to back bay. That's all I want to go to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dun 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 dun. Man, I really need to get a drink for my sore throat. I have like, this is what, episode 13 or 14? It's either 13 or 14, I know that. I think it might be 13. Let's just say it's 13. I'm already on my 13th episode on this game, and we haven't even done much. This is going to be a long series. Yeah. I thought anything so naturally ominous could end Ooh, up looking so exciting. Thanks for getting me out. You're welcome. How did you know where to find me anyway? Um not many people knew where I went. Your Ellie. secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean. Yeah. How he went missing. Mm -hmm. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. <sighs> give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Okay. Then let's just fast travel there real quick. Every issue of Live and Love, you collect adds a unique bonus for companions, like increased damage or more health. Sweet. That's cool. Let's go talk to this guy now. Don't gotta have yeah. have my gun out. Why are all these places always closed? Must just be because it's night time. How much you want to bet he's here? He fast traveled too. Ellie? Mm hmm. Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as. Oh, inventory. Let's get rid. Of. Uh, 
some of that. All the stuff I picked up I need. Where that? Sell that. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Yeah. yeah. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. Let's sit. All right, looks awesome. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Let's describe your son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? But more importantly, mm -hmm. you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? Um, the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Yeah. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Mm -hmm. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. What's the Institute? This Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy huh. to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Uh... I knew he was one of them. Either way. I need to find Sean. Yeah, right. we need to find Sean. Speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh... The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Yeah. Some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Uh, they had guns. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Uh, not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. Mm -hmm. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Yeah. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Might have. Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. I don't care. I just want to kill that guy. Town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's, it's Sean. Sean. It has to be. Yeah. Somehow. 
Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, yeah, I know, but... Son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, <laughs> they both vanished a while back. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Hmm. I want to get up. Oh, you just got to move. Mm, take that. Might as well. Um, open. So, I think we're gonna find Sean. Well, of course we will. Probably eventually. There's so much to do. Even after I find Sean, I might make a couple videos over, like, the Minutemen and things. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad uh -huh. news. He's Ooh. more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Have huh. no enemies, because they're all dead. Except well, I'm his enemy. I'm not dead yet. One odd says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Mm -hmm. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Well, my wife did die. Lock tight. <sighs> what do you want? Come on. Lock it. Pop. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah. You must be like a master pickle. Why don't you give it a try? I don't think I can pick this. I can't pick it. No luck? Just no. To find the key. <sighs> See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Okay. Let's go. Dun 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 Man, this does not feel safe. <sighs> Why does the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout. Ah, yes. I remember you, mm -hmm. our new arrival. I wish I was in your... Oh, Kellogg's Man house. Kellogg. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Why? He's Please, a kidnapper. Mayor McDonough, this man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone. Uh... I understand you have rules. What? How dare you? Thanks right. for nothing. Thanks for nothing. I know it's not. Uh-huh. So now what can I do? Guys, I think I'm going to have to end this video here. See you guys in the next one. Bye.